Hello everyone, I am a verified educator at an academy and I take online live classes for CSIR, UGC NET and GATE chemistry preparation. To access my classes on an academy, you have to take an academy plus subscription and that you can take for the time you want, either for one month, three months, six months or 12 months. While taking subscription, you can use my referral code that is N underscore Huda to get 10% discount on the referral fee as well as to get access to my WhatsApp group. So if you guys are interested in learning live from me, you can take an Academy Plus subscription and join my classes over there. Now let's continue with our video. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in this particular video, I'm going to take a question from your GATE 2019 exam. And this question was from your electrochemistry portion. Okay. So this question I'll try to, in this particular video, I'll try to explain you that how you can easily solve this question with, uh, with the given information in it and uh, what are the different formula which will, which you will get out from this particular uh, this particular question right so let's try to read it up so first of all this question was a two marker question in the gate 2019 okay so it was a question asked for two marks so it carries a good weightage yeah so they, this is the only question which was asked from electrochemistry this year like in the last year that is in gate 2019 so the question says that uh, you have this cell reaction where M is some metal and at 298 Kelvin the standard reduction potential are given to you that is the reduction potential for metal is given to you as minus 0.12 volt and reduction potential for uh, this here also it's it's but here the metal here it is the free metal here the metal is with the uh, like with the iodine okay so it's metal iodide actually so the re reduction potential is also given to you over here now it's given that the temperature coefficient is given to you by this equation okay so this is your temperature coefficient del e naught of the cell by del t at constant p is given by 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 volt per kelvin now at this particular temperature the standard enthalpy change for the overall cell reaction was asked that is they were asking about the delta h of the reaction in kilojoules per mole and uh, that's what it is said that you can round off to uh, to the two decimal places and the Faraday constant you have to take it as 96500. So now if you look upon this particular reaction, so what is happening in this particular half cell if you just look upon this, so you will see that the metal is actually getting converted into uh, the iron, right? So it will it is actually getting converted into M2 plus. So here you uh, like metal is getting converted into metal plus 2. So oxidation of the metal is happening over here, whereas, the, uh, whereas if you look at this particular side of the reaction, so you will see that it's in plus two oxidation state and it is getting converted into metal back. So reduction of metal is happening, right? Now, if you talk about the E naught of the cell, that is, if if I if you calculate for the E of the cell, it's E uh, cathode minus E anode or E reduction minus E oxidation, right? So that means you have to write down the value of uh, the one where it is getting reduced, um, like E reduction minus E of oxidation. Now, if you look. So where the oxidation is happening so the oxidation is happening in this particular part so if you look so how you have to check actually okay so you have to look upon the uh, what kind of thing it is getting formed so okay so the reduction e naught of the reduction side so which side you have to take it as the reduction value from the given two values and which you have to take as the oxidation values so that the state of this metal is going to help you in that so here if you look so metal and as well as the metal iodide both are in the solid states right whereas if you look upon this here metal is in aqueous state in the aqueous state metal will not remain in the in the uh, in the in the crystal form or in the complex form it will remain in the ionic form so this particular part correspond to this uh, reduction potential okay because you can also see here it is also mentioned that it's getting converted from aqueous to the solid form so this particular one is for the reduction part and this particular one is for the oxidation part because both of them are in the um, are in the uh, like solid state right so that means if you have to substitute the value so you have to use this formula that is e naught of reduction minus e naught of oxidation so you'll just put the value so reduction value is minus now both of them are already expressed in the reduction potential so you don't have to change the sign you just have to keep it in that way as well so as it is so 0 0.12 volt minus it will be minus 0 0.36 volt okay so when you will solve this you will come up with uh, because this minus minus will be plus so that means plus minus will overall it will be 0, 0 0.24 volt so that's what you will get as the e of the cell so e of the cell we just calculated it as like that 
Now we know that the enthalpy of the reaction or delta H is given by this equation that is delta H is equals to delta G plus T delta S right that's what we know and we also know that uh, del G by del T at constant P is actually equal to minus S that's what we have calculated using the Gibbs uh, equation right so at constant P you can calculate that and you will get this particular equation using thermodynamics all right so now we have to just substitute all these things so when I will do that so I will get delta H is equals to this will be delta G and if I substitute the value of delta S over here from this so it will be minus del G um, by del T at constant P and I also have this T right so I'll just write down it over here so minus T del G by del T at constant P now I'm just going to put the values of G that is uh, we know that G is equals to or delta G is equals to minus NFE right so this equation like this particular substitution I'm going to make in this equation so what I'm going to get is delta H delta H is equals to this will become your uh, minus NFE of the cell E naught of the cell because we are calculating the H naught right so E naught right and yeah so plus uh, this will be T why plus because this minus of NFE and this minus will become plus so this will be plus uh, T right into NF and since it is del G by del T so it will be del E by del T at constant P all right so now we have just converted our equation according to whatever we need uh, you have to just put the values and you just have to calculate so or you can take few things common from here so I'm just going to do here so I'll just take N and F common so I'll just get from this part I'll get minus E naught and from this particular part I'll get plus T del E by del T at constant P now I'm just going to substitute the values this value is already given to me and this I have calculated so both the values I'll put n how what will be the value of n because there there is a charge of plus 2 so there will be two electrons required to neutralize it so the value of n is going to be 2 so I'll just put the value over here so delta H naught will become how much that will become 2 into 9 6 5 double 0 that is the value of the Faraday constant and the rest of the values that is minus 0 0.24 and plus temperature is given to us as 298 right so 298 and the value of del E by del T at constant P is 1.5 into into 10 to the power minus 4 alright so once you solve this you can use your calculator to do this all so I'm not going to solve this over here but yeah at the end your value of delta H is going to be minus 37.69 kilojoules per mole so that is going to be your answer for this particular question so the answer will be minus 37.69 so that's what that's how this equation has to be solved and this was the way how you can approach towards it so I just found one question from electrochemistry and I thought that uh, I should explain you guys that how to do this question this was very simple question the only thing which you need to know is this particular formula from thermodynamics and the relation between del G by del T at constant P and entropy you have to substitute that and just put this value that is um, the value of your delta G is equals to minus NFE there are other ways also in which you can do uh, there is an equation which uh, which like uh, which relates your uh, entropy with the cell potential so that is also one of the equation but yeah that also you can use if you want so that's how this question has to be done and I hope that you guys understood it well if you guys have any doubt you can ask that in the comment section below that's all for this video and in the next video I'll try to explain some other topic and some other question from your gate 2019 exam do let me know if you have any specific question which you guys want me to solve from the gate exam uh, from the gate 2019 exam I'll be try like I'll try to uh, cover that particular question in the upcoming videos. So thank you so much for watching guys and uh, that's all for this particular video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys understood it well. So that's all from my side. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.